right, Rob, thank you. The month of June is Alzheimer's and Brain Health Awareness Month, and today, Charleston City leaders discussing ways to help provide support and to patients and caregivers. News News' Jordan Sayopa attended a roundtable at the Waring Senior Center and has more. According to the Alzheimer's Association, more than 95,000 South Carolinians are living with the disease. And today, Charleston City leaders are raising awareness of the issue and offering resources to those who are affected. Similar to the heart, experts say making lifestyle changes can keep your brain healthy too. We are exercise appropriately, we get engaged in community, and we engage in learning new skills. We are reducing our chance to develop memory problems in the future in about one third. Today, Charleston city leaders are calling on local organizations to adopt one of the four pillars of health and wellness, social engagement, cognitive learning, exercise, and nutrition. The goal is to support brain health. We will have chefs that will help them with healthy eating. We have dance instructors if they want to take a dance class. This effort is part of Alzheimer's and Brain Health Awareness Month. According to experts, Alzheimer's is a progressive neurological illness found in more than 6 million Americans 65 and older. While someone has yet to survive the disease, the Alzheimer's Association says the FDA has recently approved a drug called Aduhelm that impacts its progression, one of the first of its kind. Before that, all of the FDA approved medications we have only treat symptoms. They don't treat an underlying progression. But that's really where we need to go to find our cure. And as research continues in hopes of finding a cure, leaders in Charleston are highlighting resources and encouraging the community to take up healthy habits. We want our citizens to be as healthy as possible and live a great quality of life. And where does it start? Um, but with, with your own health and wellness. Officials say Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. and South Carolina. And we'll have some resources posted on our website, countonto.com. Reporting in Charleston, Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.